guys, Dave again here, JDH Reptiles. Uh, this video is being done, my, or sorry, Tuesday evening, so this is the 16th. Uh, you're going to see this video Wednesday morning, it's the 17th. Uh, that date is only going to be, only matters because of what we're going to talk about today. Uh, first of all, before we jump into the main portion of this video, I want to take a moment and show a couple animals. Um, I'm super stoked about the two I'm going to show you. You've already seen them and that's okay. First I'm going to show you the Coral Glow uh, Lesser Sunset because he just shed out and looks super sweet. Uh, and then I'm going to show you the Exanthic Clown. So let me grab those. Alright here's the Exanthic Clown. Just I love opening this tub and seeing this animal. He is so sweet. So happy to have this guy in our collection. Uh, really excited for the future with him and what he can do for us. Uh, it's going to be next year before he gets into the rotation most likely. I'm not going to push it. I don't think he's going to make it this year. A lot of our girls are all, a lot of our clown girls especially, are already up to size. And uh, some of them are, you know, they're a month or two away from being able to be bred. And this boy just isn't ready. But that's okay. They'll give us more time for more plans for next season. So we have some het clowns. And um, we'll obviously have the clowns we currently have. The females I'm speaking of. Uh, for next year. So hopefully this boy will be able to put some work in. And do some amazing things for us come next year. Which I'm sure he will because he's absolutely amazing. And of course... The creme de la creme. <sighs> a couple big purchases this year. Uh, this year started off with, or I shouldn't say start off. We, we've made a bunch of purchases this year. Uh, some large purchases, some small purchases. The la These two animals that I've shown you today. The Exanthic Clown and this one here. By far top out to be the most expensive animals we've purchased. And... Um, you know, the female uh, pewter sunset was really expensive, too. And, um, <clears throat> but she was like almost like half the price of this boy here. So, this guy here was, was just absolutely uh, a must-have. We're so glad to have him. He's eating well, doing well, uh, growing. Like I said, this is this is second shed with us, which is great. I mean, he's put on some size. I say he's put on size. I mean, really, guys, he's 120 grams probably. So he's not putting on much size per se. But he's grow is what I mean. Uh, but, I mean, look at the pattern. Look at this dude. He is just so incredible. So, obviously, um, I don't believe he'll make it this year. He'll definitely be next season before he gets some work in, but he'll uh, he's going to be a big part of of the production here. Um, so we're going to get him up to size. We're going to get him up to size healthy and safely, and uh, we're going to make sure he stays healthy and safe and eating well, and uh, you know, do everything we can to make sure he's a good animal. And will be a good breeder for us. So there he is, Coral Glow Lesser Sunset. Hi right, guys, main reason for this video again. Um, we're gonna do a little incubation check today. <laughs> so typically I don't do this kind of thing, uh, but it is the last clutch of the year. We are. Again, today, right now, it is the evening of the 16th. The clutch is due on the 28th, so 12 days away. Uh, that means we're sitting right at about day 43. So you're watching this is day 44. Um, yeah, day 28, the 28th of November, sorry, is day 55. So I'm going to just grab the clutch. Uh, we're going to pop the top, take a look at the eggs, uh, make sure everything looks good. I'm assuming they will. Uh, we typically have pipping starting this season anywhere from day 48 
And then we've been all the way to day 55 where there's been no pipping, so we've cut the eggs. Um, I don't expect anything to be, it would be super, super, super early to have anybody pipping tonight. Uh, but I want to take a look at the eggs, and I got you guys here, so let's do it. All right, guys, so here is the clutch. Remember, this was a pairing from Acid Highway Mail to Pastel Leopard, or sorry, Pastel Yellow Belly Spot Nose. So, five eggs. See if they're ripe enough to be separated. Looks like they are. Typically, when you get laying up in stage, if you didn't separate them ahead of time, uh, they'll separate with no problems. And it looks like, yeah, no, they're not going to have any problems here. At least not for the most part. That one I probably won't play with too much. But they're starting to slowly dimple. Yeah, a lot of these are connected pretty well. Um, shells are starting to get that hard leathery feel to them. Uh, but they are dimpling as you can see, which is a great sign. So, we got, again, you know, we got, uh, what, 12 days. So just shy of two weeks before we can cut the clutch. Unless, you know, we get a pipper early. I think just about every one of these has um, a window. A little window there, window here. couple little windows on the bottom of these eggs so yeah very cool we're gonna let them be we're gonna let them continue um, to do their thing so as you see we do use the press and seal mainly because honestly these lids are absolutely atrocious for these these egg boxes suck and this will probably I don't know I could say this will be one of the things we'll definitely be changing this coming season, but they work so well for us. I hate to change something when they work well. Uh, mainly it's the press and seal doing the job, but the box is working too. So you know, maybe we'll stick with this. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But 12 days to go. So here within the next couple weeks, get ready to cut the final clutch of the season. Again, Acid Highway Male to Pastel Spot Nose Yellow Belly Female. Uh, we did this pairing, not this pairing, but we had an acid pairing earlier this year. Let me just change this up. You guys can look at me, I guess. Uh, acid pairing this year, as you guys know. And uh, it was the same acid highway to a um, orange dream yellow belly. We got one highway. It was an acid orange dream highway. And then from there, all we got was yellow belly gravel combos. So yellow belly gravel, OD yellow belly gravel acid yellow belly gravel and OD acid yellow belly gravel which is funny we got pretty much one of everything except for instead of getting an acid highway like the day we got acid OD highway but we got no ivories and we got the one highway so hoping here we'll get acid spot nose combos preferably acid spot nose highway combos um, you know we could potentially get the uh, the white danger snake you know I say danger snake just because who knows if we'll be able to tell what's inside, but it, it would be an ivory, so super yellow belly, um, potentially spot nose and pastel and acid. Um, so yeah, super excited for this clutch. This clutch here, we cut it, we get the animals out, we get them fed. Then we can actually take a moment, sit back, look at all of our acid combos and figure out what we want to do with them as far as holdbacks and those we'll offer for sale. So keep an eye on that because December, January, we're going to start talking about those as well. Uh, but that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you on the next one. Check out the links down below. Until next time, take care.